The city of Woonsocket is cracking down on people who live in the state but don't have their cars registered here. Officials say it's all about collecting tax money, but it's also about public safety. Highway News News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live from Woonsocket with what the city is doing and how many out-of-state registrations have been found so far. Kim? Well, Mike and Caroline, officials here in Woonsocket say they have ticketed 176 vehicles here over the past two years, and they've only had one repeat offender. This is the supporting documentation that goes to court. Woonsocket police are ready to make their case, citing more than 170 drivers in the past two years for out-of-state plates. Hopefully the message is just do what's required by the law, have your vehicle registered where it needs to be registered. Under Rhode Island law, folks who move to a new city or from out-of-state have 30 days to re-register their cars, but Woonsocket police have found not everyone does. Thanks to some fairly new changes in the law, police now have the ability to track cars parked not only on the street, but in garages and driveways. They say that's exactly what their eagle-eyed beat officers have been doing. They get to see the cars, they get to know the cars, they get to know the neighborhoods, and then they start entering through the uh, onboard uh, computer system. They generate a call, they punch the uh, out-of-state registration into it, and they go about the rest of their shift. Lieutenant Thomas Caloro says they comb through that data and flag cars with out-of-state plates parked in the city for more than a month, issuing a citation and a court date. Police Chief Thomas Oates says the community is invested. These people come up to me and they hand me a slip of paper. Here, Chief, these two cars have been there for like the last three months, uh, mass plates, and uh, can you do something about it? So there's a lot of people that are interested in this. I think it goes to the heart of every taxpayer that um, everybody is willing to pay their fair share as long as everybody else is paying their fair share. And city leaders said today, yes, this is a taxation issue, but they also said it's a public safety issue because investigators often need to know where a car is, if it's involved in a crime or in a crash. Now, coming up new at 6, we'll tell you which state's plates were on the lion's share of these ticketed cars. For now, live in Woonsocket, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.